Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harper, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do remember, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell right here, and select all to receive all notifications upon the videos that come out on this channel. Also, my backup channel is Tony Harper Network, if you'd like to do the same. Dude, this is Tony Hobb, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, do remember, my disclaimer is I'm not a pastor, preacher. I don't hold any type of office in the church. I'm not here to violate any type of community guidelines or copyright infringement. We need to really talk about today, uh, you know, people who are striving for God, you know, uh, should they get into physical altercation? Should they go back and forth in a manner which will lead them into a physical altercation and we have you know we have christopher wright aka simple faith on here to have this conversation with us you know what's up christopher wright how you doing i'm doing pretty good in yourself yeah. i'm good i'm good so i got win today i got win it's not a joke that uh he said is this is a joke no i actually got win today you know that uh this guy talk about uh mr i call him mr he's not a pastor to me so-called pastor Charles Duell, you know, I don't remember, I don't recall making a video about, you know, challenging anybody to a boxing match, to my recollection. I don't remember that. You know, I know I can talk a certain way <laughs> and things like that, but I don't recall myself issuing out there and putting down stipulations of a boxing match, you know, and this is a, a so-called preacher. This is a, this is a man who's a, who is almost 60 years of age. Mind you, I'm a young man. You know, <laughs> I'm a young man. I'm not a preacher. So my my reactions are maybe different from, you know, somebody in the pulpit. Somebody in the pulpit should ignore, you know, YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, in general, you know, because uh, pastors in the pulpit or people who call themselves pastors, uh, they have a higher standard in general as far as like teaching the word to people and stuff like that. Never mind me. Never mind a YouTuber, you know what I'm saying, uh, heckling you and, you know what I mean, talking about your false doctrine and things like that. But as a man, it's principles and values that go with that goes with this. Now, listen to yourself about accepting uh, a boxing match, you know what I'm saying, with an athlete, and you're almost 60 years of age. <laughs> you understand? Do you, do you really hear yourself at the end of the day? So, Christopher Wright, what, what do you say about, you know, um, people who are striving for God, you know, if if they can't get a, a certain discussion, some people may uh, result into, you know, let me antagonize this person. If this person don't uh, react in a different manner or the manner the way I want it, now I'm going to curse them out. Now I'm going to make physical threats and things like that. What do you think about uh, so-called preachers like that? Well, <clears throat> I mean, at the end of the day, the, before the apostles were titled apostles or called apostles, they were called disciples. And when you think about disciple, okay, if you're a minister or, you know, you're, when you get your start, you're considered a disciple, you're learning, you're being trained, you're being taught. And the word disciple is where we get is the root word for discipline and you know we we all get mad we get angry i'm sure that i've been mad a few times where i wanted to throw fist or whatnot i mean it it we're human <laughs> we're not robots we have limits you know and i get that but a, somebody that's that that man's a pulpit in general should have enough discipline not to be trying to i mean i understand if you're contending for the faith and you're having debates and discussions or you want to challenge somebody i get that i get that um but you still should be able to control yourself i mean for the most part you should be able to handle yourself i'm not perfect i don't always handle myself perfectly or in the best situation you know, I don't always respond to pressure, you know, appropriately, you know, but when you're in a certain position of so-called spiritual leadership, um, you should have enough discipline 
uh, to bridle your tongue, for one. Scripture teaches us that if a man doesn't bridle his tongue, that is religion's vain. Um, and that means profanity and everything else. So what I think is, I, I, I think it's, I think it's a joke. Um, but also in the same hand, understand that I'm flesh just like anybody else. Um, you know, anybody can get under pressure, but in what you're describing, it's the exact opposite. The guy, it sounds like the guy's coming after you or he's trying to taunt you. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You're a grown man, Tony. You got a job. You, you're trying to feed your family. Um, what's crazy is I, I had a conversation with someone earlier, and it baffles me that – and I was told that this guy – there's this guy on YouTube that's making videos about myself and you and a few other people every day. And I was like, I didn't even know. <laughs> I forgot the guy exists until you brought his name up. I'm not going to bring him up on this channel, but <laughs> but I was just flabbergasted at the fact that he's still trying to. I mean, he spends all of his time trashing people and using profanity, but yet he wants to make people think that he's some kind of a Christian and he's and he's you know he's justifying his behavior and is justifying his profanity. But that's not what the book teaches at all. I mean, so, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. What? what, what is, yeah, you can finish. It, it just doesn't make sense to me that that people would go out of their way to trash and bash somebody, um, and and just not ever get past it, because realistically, you're not helping yourself, and then you're just becoming toxic for no reason. It. it we're supposed to be grown men, you know. The scripture teaches us to act like men. And they're, we're acting like children. Foolishness. I mean, and this, this listen, this is from a, a, a grown man um, at the end of the day. I, like you said, the person who's making videos about you and I, whatever the case may be, um, you know, is immature. You know, because these fellas, uh, a lot of them are way older than, than us. A lot of them put themselves on the pedestal as ministers and pastors and whatnot and call themselves preachers. But yet uh, they flipping the bird, you know, using all types of profanity, threats and whatnot. They want some once somebody give them the business. Now they want to play the victim. You understand that you can't you can't be in the pulpit. You can't preach and teach the word and things like that. Then you go go on and, and make physical threats. I mean. They also talk about, you know, other people's family members and to try to degrade them, dead people in their family members, which is crazy. I've never heard, like I was speaking with somebody today, I've never heard a day in my life when I'm out, when I was out there on the street in Jersey City growing up, all the gangs and stuff like that, they never was like this. But the moment I start putting out these True God videos, I mean, there was nothing but over righteous Christians act in a certain way in a manner that I would I've never thought people who go to church, people who study the word, and people who are in the pulpit talk in such a manner uh the way they do. And like I told them, they're gonna get a they're gonna get a different response from me because I ain't no preacher, man. I'm at the end of the day, I'm just a I'm just a YouTuber. I broadcast things. So when right. a man when a man talks physical um, and it's a right way to do things, you know, versus going out there and, you know, getting into legal problems and stuff like that. Listen, why not do it the right way? Why not play a game of basketball and or football and, you know, get in the ring and stuff like that? If that's if that's going to humble that person, okay, fine. You know what I'm saying? If a person need to be knocked inside of the head one time to humble them, I mean, sometimes it, it takes that for people to, hum to humble themselves, man. It literally takes that. It's sad, but, you know, it's true at the end of the day. Unless that person is doing it for entertainment purposes and things like that. Because I, I don't really believe that he uh, he probably said it. Uh, somebody told me and stuff like that. And other people was mentioning this and stuff like that, that he talking about a boxing match. Okay, let's say you did accept it. 
uh, as a preacher, do you think a preacher uh, should indulge himself in those type of activities to handle uh, a problem or whatever the case may be with somebody who's not a pastor or anybody in general? Well, I, bear with me here because I'm I'm kind of I'm I am looking at the chat and monitoring the chat too. So you just basically what you're asking me is should that should he be behaving that way? Um. Well, the thing is, let me say this: the man is almost sixty years of age, to my knowledge. And you know, listen, I'm not putting no, uh, you know, good stuff on myself, whatever the case may be, but. When you when you going into a, something with an athlete and stuff like that, you putting your own self in harm's way. You know what I'm saying? Like you often uh you accepting what you call it, you accepting a fighting match. You understand? What is how is that going to edify your people or people in general? Like me, I don't mind. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I don't care. You know, I, this that's what I love to do, but I can't do it. For the purpose of harming people in general you know what i'm saying so right. if, I'm, if i'm in a ring you know fighting him or whatever my my intention is not to hurt the man although i know i can you know i'm not trying to hurt the man that's that's just the type of heart i have but you know i can but sometimes a person need to be knocked in the head or, or knock some sense into them to really humble themselves at the end of the day you right. know what i'm saying even right. as even as a, a pastor and preacher i mean you know, when I, well, the kids, if you have, you don't got no kids, but I got kids. <laughs> when they get out of line and stuff like that, you might have to give them a chapel to knock them back in order. And it's, sure, sad, sure. it's sad to say that grown people like him act worse than my kids. So what type of discipline he should get? You understand? Right. There you go. Okay, well, here's the thing. Okay, we're dealing with a man that's that's old enough to be our dad. For one, <laughs> I mean, if we if we go back to, um, I'm sorry, are you talking, Tony? I'm no, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the. There's a delay between the stream and the actual YouTube. So, um, but anyway, um, he's he's old enough to be our dad. You know, um, maybe even our granddad. Um, but if we, let's just say we rewind the clock. Okay. And let's just say he was in his twenties. If he was in his twenties, then he'd be, he'd be fussing and fighting at a, at a, you know, a four or five year old or a six year old or a seven year old. I mean, he should have enough more. He should have way more wisdom than us to not engage in that behavior. But I mean, I'll tell you what the root is. The root is this man does not have a genuine relationship with God. He's a fraud. For one, two, um, Proverbs 30 and three says, strive not with the man without a cause. If he have done thee no harm. Did you do anything to this guy, Tony? No. <laughs> to my knowledge, no. Okay. So if he, you, you, you either with the scriptures or you're not. You can't be. You can't use the scriptures as a means of convenience to support your lust and support whatever makes you feel good or whatever you like. I mean, you don't just bulldog God for one. Okay, you're not going to bulldog God and hang on to the Bible or try to stay attached or stay connected to God on one hand, and then de despise and mock God on the other hand. It just doesn't work like that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense to get mad or blow up at somebody that has not done anything to you to, to the point where you want to physically fight somebody. You know, some, some of these, you know, some, well, a lot of men have uh, feminine emotions, whereas though uh, they get upset or mad, even something over the Internet, whereas though they, they, they lash out. No disrespect to the females out there, but they, they let their emotions a lot of times take over them. And a, lo and a lot of men in these days allow that to happen to them. You know what I mean? The masculinity has left a lot of men out here, which made them uh, sensitive much more in these days. 
and whatnot. Whereas though every little thing, every little thing, they lash out. No offense to the females, but they lash out, you know what I mean, in a sense of feminine ways at the end of the day. Right. Well, I mean, if people have a relationship with God, and I know we bringing it back to this, um, I know myself, I have a temper. I have issues with bitterness. I have issues with anger. Just myself, you know, it's already there. But the way that I deal with it is the last thing I want to do is I want to be, I don't want to be the reason that somebody else has to pray through or something. I don't want to be the reason that somebody else that has a hard time, you know, and it's just, I don't want to cause people problems because I hate when people cause me problems. Um, you know, if you're a minister, the book specifically states in first Timothy chapter three, verse three, not given to wine. So I understand this guy is an alcoholic from what I understand. <laughs> and the scripture says that he's not supposed to be a striker, which means that he's not supposed to strike anybody. Um, not greedy of filthy liqueur, but patient, not a brawler. I mean, not covetous. I mean, what drives a person to want to become enraged to the point where they have to, they feel like they have to become physical? Um, that's, those are behaviors and acts of the flesh. Mm. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, your flesh is in control and the scripture tells us that the flesh wars against the, or the, the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and the two are contrary to one another. So somebody that wants to get drunk or wants to get violent, it's, it's all associated with the, it's all connected. So to me, it doesn't make sense if you are a man of the cloth. And again, I'm like you, Tony. I'm not a preacher. I, I'm not. Uh, I don't hold any title in my church either, except for a conga player. That's it. But as far as a title of teacher or preach, I'm not that. I'm just a student, and mm -hmm. I have the you know the God given right to to teach sinners the truth, but to try to you know. I have the responsibility, to obviously, to contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. That was something that was definitely commanded. So, yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense that somebody that, that believes the Bible would even conduct themselves that way. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. What's up, Mr. Ham? How's it going, Chris? Good, good. Yeah, so y'all can hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, little, it's funny. Yeah. It's, it's funny about this guy, man. I, I've been knowing about him for about about maybe uh, uh, four or five years. Uh, and uh, I used to watch like he used to run from a, a G man. Uh, it, and it's funny because first he started getting mad at G man, and then his wife got involved in it before he started before he started practicing this polygamy stuff. Right now. He's kind of involved in the Hebrew Israelite thing. And it's it's funny that all of a sudden his, his whole perspective changed as far as as, as far as how how he is now. See, one thing I learned about that man is he's a whole bunch of mouth. That's it. I've never seen him back up a, a bike. I've never seen him do it. You can go back and look through all of his videos. He always talks about the law like those those so-called uh, Hebrew Israelites do, right? Now the problem with people like that is when you when you press them on a the scripture, pressure busts a pipe. It happens every time. With obviously, what you said struck a nerve, right? So, uh, as far as him saying that he want to fight you and stuff like that, I think it's it's funny to me. You know, I could you know uh, I have to really just I, I'm trying to picture that. <laughs> I'm really trying to picture that because he ain't no Mike Tyson. And he ain't no Roy, a, a, a Roy Jr. So mm. I want to figure that one out, right? Mm. You know, uh, and, and and here's the thing: he's like he's like that dude. He's like that dude that hide behind the pistol, but his hands is water. <laughs> That's who he remind me of. You know, uh, I don't. I, I mean, like like I don't see him. I don't see him as being a Christian. Period. No. You know, I don't. See, I don't see him as being one. 
There's nothing he does that says Christian about it. That's like, for instance, when I'm listening to a Hebrew Israelite talk, right? The only thing that you can do is discuss with me about the laws. Even Jesus didn't talk about the laws like they do. You know, their, 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 their focal point is never actually on what the Bible tells you for salvation. They can't even explain what it is to get the Holy Ghost or what the Holy Ghost is. What they can do or what they do do is they, they say things that that's opposite of receiving the Holy Ghost. They're saying that your salvation is in the law. It's funny how the law was put there for, for, for ignorant humans because we couldn't even get the com Ten Commandments right. But you want to talk to me about 66 laws. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's funny. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ham, you said 66 laws? No, 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 666 laws. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Correction, correction, correction. I didn't say it at first, so I'm saying it now. Well, no, well, I wasn't actually looking. No, I I, if I'm wrong, looking. if I'm wrong, it need to be corrected, uh, Chris. No, no, no. What I'm saying is I wasn't really trying to nitpick you. I was just, I was like, so basic. I, I thought. But you can't say stuff, you can't say stuff publicly and, 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 and not own up to it. Well, right. I, I was like, the, I was going to ask you, so they only follow 66 laws? 666. Well, here's the thing. They, they no, 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 no. Actually, they, they claim 666 laws, but I don't see none of them sacrificing. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, I don't right, see. And that's where I was going to go next. I don't get it. I don't get it. Right. And then they do all of this stuff like most of them smoke weed and drink and, and do this and that and and and, 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 and poison their body, and, you know, destroying their temple. Right. But yet and still they're talking about they're keeping the laws. And we yeah. you can just go through that right there and that kills about maybe maybe 20 of the laws that they already break it. Not to mention that they're practicing uh, 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 what, what Jesus said that uh, uh, that that uh, uh, that that God allowed you to put away I mean, with most allowed you to put away for the hardness of your heart, but Jesus said it was not so from the beginning. But you're going to tell yeah. me that it's all right with polygamy. Right. So, well, here's, here's, the, here's the thing, though. It, it goes back to this Ephesians 4 or 5. There's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. If, true. if your doctrine of salvation, of how you are to be saved, is off, yeah. everything else is off, too. Yep, you can't be off one bit. That's why you remember how they used to do. Uh, you remember those? You remember those those pastors that used to uh, be like, well, uh, well, my, my my prophecy don't have to be a hundred percent, but it can be close. Well, in the Bible, the Bible tells you that that if it doesn't happen, then you then, then you do them nothing. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the chapter and verses to back up what you're saying there. Yeah, so you have to be a hundred percent. If God, if, if Jesus is a hundred percent, you got to be a hundred percent. And here's the thing: we're expected to do more than what Jesus did, because right. He said it. You're going to do more. That's required right. of it. And, and, and you know what's foolish about it is a uh, 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 pastor. Uh, I mean, what a so-called pastor uh, uh, does well, right? He's not even close to what, what, what was told to be done. No. Just in his action alone. Sure. Just think about it. Even when the when, when the scriptures talked about uh, 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 Jesus killing Peter's mother, he didn't say that, that he had a concubine and, 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 and a mistress and this and that. He only talked about him having a mother-in-law, not mothers-in-law. Right, right. right. So I, I like like I said I, I can't take people like that serious. I don't even worry about. It. Of course, uh, uh, when when they can't prove a point, they want to go to violence. Now he know good and well that he can't go no rounds with talk. <laughs> yeah, not without coming out the book for sure. Yeah, well it would it would be that's like that's like a, a dude that can't even hit the broad side of a barn. Hmm. So you know. What up, Craig? <laughs> Oh, hey, Tony. Uh, I just wanted to let everybody know I woke up not too long ago. That's why I wasn't uh, sharing my uh, camera and everything. But um, I will say 
it's it's the situation's not funny, but it is funny because uh you know hey, I'm gonna hit my camera. I gotta camera turn and talk sorry, sorry, to everybody. Uh, I gotta turn my camera off. Chris actually made a good point. He uh, said, "Yeah," and then there are other people on here. It's funny that uh, don't like Tony, don't like Mister Ham, don't like me, don't like Chris, don't like Gino, don't like. And then what they do, they'll go over to Pastor Dell's channel and they'll be like, "Yeah, get him, Dell, get him." So it's it, it, it's funny to me how people there there are people out there that want to switch sides or act like uh because this person doesn't like that person they'll go over there and everything and then two Dal's making hours if you look at all the time he's put into the videos he's made and everything it's been hours about uh Gino and uh, other people and everything and he's just making a fool out of himself so. And then uh, it's funny, people, like you said, uh, if somebody um, says something online, it's one thing. But then we'll see if they're right there in front of your face, if they're actually be the same exact way that they're going to be right to your face. Because most times they will not. So um, I just saw all you guys brought up some good points. And uh, yeah. Well, you know, here's the deal. I mean, at the end. I'm sorry, Tony, was you about to say something? What was that? No, I just said that's what's up. That's it. You, you can talk. Oh, um, my, my volume is muted or something. So what's wrong with my computer? Nah, you can just use two screens. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, can, can you repeat that? No, I said we can, we can hear you. Yeah, I got, I, uh, I'm driving, so that's why I had to turn my inside light off on my car. I mean, my, my camera off on my car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm did. sorry, uh, Tony. One second, real quick. All right. So, um, what you was about to say, Christopher? I I was just gonna say that. I mean, you know, Hebrews 12 and 14, and I've quoted this multiple times. It it says, "Follow peace with all men, and of course, in holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord." Romans 14, 19 says, let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. I mean, these are just these are just basic how to treat other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're always looking for a fight, you're going to get a fight, you know, and. It, 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 I mean, I understand. I understand. Hey, you're gonna, you know, we get on, we debate, we contend for our faith. That's what the platform's for. But once the debate's over, we shouldn't have personal attacks and personal fights. Like, you know, I, I see that you had to to uh, moderate somebody out in the chat just a little bit ago, Tony. And, it, it get, and it, what's crazy is we weren't even talking about that guy. <laughs> the, the, I mean, if if I recall, the title of this this YouTube chat, uh, this YouTube live is Pastor Charles Dow. It, it doesn't, it, but, he, but he's offended because he thinks that we're talking about him, and, and that's just the delusional mindset of people that are influenced by demonic influence. It's a prime example. You but you know? know what, though, Chris? You know, like uh, Romans 8.31, that's what I was actually looking at, right? Uh -huh. uh, where, where God before you, you know, it, it, it's funny that you can look at you can look at the works that's involved in first church versus what they're doing. And you can look at the works and see if God uh, and see if God is for that, right? Like uh -huh. what man, what man uh, uh, goes on there? Like I, I, I don't get this part where when, when he first started doing this stuff, like showing showing guns and and this and that. All right, I get it. If somebody has a gun and they hunt and stuff like that, all right, that I understand that. But you're showing it as if if it comes to this, then you want to use guns. Like I, mm. I, I, don't, I don't I don't understand that. Is that what you, is that what he was presenting, or you know, uh, is that what 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 it, what, it, what what he was insinuating? Like, I don't, I don't understand. What was the point of that? See, whenever a person, see, I don't get it. Like, when a person uh, 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 is offended by what you use with scripture and they go to that extreme, something is seriously wrong with that person. 
Oh yeah, I mean, if, if you if you look at examples in scripture when people got puffed up and got mad and angry and blew up or or cut themselves or whatever, you know, it's not un, it's 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 not any different today than it was in in the days of the Bible, you know. People, yeah, you mean you like the uh, eight hundred and fifty prophets that uh, a bell because <laughs> it show a lot of them, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I was having a discussion with my 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 brother. He believed in all that that trinitarian prosperity stuff, uh, and I was having a discussion with him. And I and, and you know the same question that I asked the other day when I was on there and Giselle was on there, uh, and actually you were on there too. And I asked those two guys about how, how is it that they believe that that one saved always saved, or that it didn't require any works to be saved. Uh, and 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 so I asked them, you know, with, with that same question, uh, if, if hell enlarged herself and New Jerusalem hasn't gotten any bigger, then how is it once saved always saved applies to that? Not only that, how is it? that you don't have to go by the same way that Jesus came by when he said we're going to be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, right? But they're saying a totally different doctrine, which in mind, if, if a person puts his mind to it and thinks about that, that tells you why a hell has enlarged yourself. Right. But they couldn't grasp that. Well, see, here's the thing. One of the things that you have to be mindful of, too, and I'm going to make this public statement right here. Um, most people that come on this platform and debate, we know who the loser of the debate is. The one who gets hammered with questions is the one that lost the debate. And it's been that way ever since. I mean, it doesn't matter what the topic is. Whoever the loser of the debate is, the, everybody's coming on to question that individual. And yeah. Yeah. and the thing of it is, you you have people that have extremely serious case of robotic responses, um, just robotic. Yeah. Like um, I just did a series, and I titled the series "A Box Set of Scriptures" or "A Box Set yeah, Scriptures." I've heard you say that. Yeah, I've heard and you say that. And what I what I and I I'm just I'm almost done with the series, but in the series I think Craig actually went and listened to yeah, it. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah. And, and one of the and one of the things that I said was most false all false religions and false believers all have the exact same identical things in common. And they make the same errors. It doesn't matter if they're Lutheran, Baptist, Methodist. Pentecostal, it doesn't even matter if they're apostolic or whatever title that you want to use. At the end of the day, if we come back to the scripture, the scripture interprets itself. And the scripture says that there's no prophecy of the scripture that's of any private interpretation. So if you were taught something, there's two options that you have. Option one, you can hang on to your false doctrine even after you've been confronted with truth, or B, you can come to the or two, you can come to the truth. It's either one or the other. But understand this: I was talking to a gentleman today, and I was like, "It's funny how these guys conveniently use Jesus, or they conveniently say, well, I accepted the Lord Jesus, right?'" But then when you get to the core essentials of salvation, such as repentance and water baptism, it's like they fall off or they shut down. And I've come to the conclusion that the reason why they can't get the understanding is because they're under that influence of that particular spirit that presented them their false doctrine, wherever it got presented to them at, because the scripture is plain whom you serve. That's who, who, who you obey. That's who is your master. And if you're obeying sin, then scripture is plain on, who the father of the sinner is. And if you're living righteousness, the scriptures are plain on, 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 on who's God's people or not. The scripture splits everything down the middle. Doesn't matter how many religions there are, many different churches, synagogues, whatever you want to call them. There's still only two kinds of people on the planet. There's still only two types of spirit that exist on the earth or in the earth. It's either the Holy spirit or God's spirit or a godly spirit that we're being influenced by, 
or it's an evil spirit that we're being influenced by. Jesus taught the parable of the seeds. Some seeds fell on good ground, some stony ground, some fell by the wayside. And then somehow he starts talking about tares getting into the soil and tares springing up. Well, he plainly states that the tares are the children of the devil. So you're either a children, a child of the bondwoman or a child of the free woman, or you're a child of God or you're not. There's no middle ground. There's no wiggle room. You're either in or you're out. You either got the truth or you don't. There's not a whole lot of wiggle room. When it comes to scriptures, when it comes to faith, what we believe, when it comes to salvation, everything in that book, you're either with it or you're against it. What's the problem is, American culture is a very lazy culture that is spoiled rotten on what can I get to make me feel good right now, whether it's drugs, food, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. We have – America has removed itself from the disciplines of Scripture because of Hollywood, the entertainment world, all those outside influences are a contributing factor – to why people don't study the word of God or pray or try to get closer to God on a genuine level. You trying to say something? Yeah. yeah. You know what? You just said something that I, that that's what I started calling the people when I'm talking, when I, when I, when I, when I talk to, when I talk to people and they give me their opinions and stuff like that, I always call, I call them, I call them lazy. Because if you, if I can pick up the Bible and I, I give you scripture for what I'm talking about, you should be able to do the same in return. And if you can't, that means you're lazy at what you're doing. Uh, what, what's, the Bible, what's the Bible on being slothful? Uh, what's that scripture? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So I, to me, they're lazy. The same well, energy here's, that I put here, Here's the thing. Let me, let me, let me bring this out here because I, I, I got a, a, a whole bunch of scriptures I pulled up to kind of go in, inside with... Uh, with uh, Tony's topic tonight, because we're talking about the why why or somebody would want to fight somebody or cuss somebody out or treat everybody. The book of Second Timothy chapter four verse eighteen it says, "And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work." Well, what is every evil work? James three and sixteen says, "For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work." So wanting to fight somebody, wanting to call somebody out, wanting to cut somebody out and chew people out, especially making trash videos consistently on a regular basis. That's just a, that what you're seeing is what's inside that vessel, which is poisonous venom, which is toxicity. It's immaturity. It's a lot of psychotic, satanic influence. That's what it is. It's exactly what it is. It's the exact opposite of godliness and righteousness. And that's exactly what it is. We're going to call it for what it is. We're not going to dance around it. We're not going to apologize. But that's exactly what it is. It doesn't make any sense for a grown man or anybody, for that matter, to sit around and make trash videos and try to just tear somebody down. That is, Jesus Jesus put the religious leaders of his day in their place, and he, and he dealt with them pretty harshly. But if you look at the overall life of Jesus Christ, he didn't spend his entire ministry hammering people. Look, I mean, that's like, men, that, that's like men that obey obey uh, obey men instead of God. That's that's the problem. Oh yeah, I was going to say uh, to both your guys, all your guys' points and everything talked about sluggardness, talk about uh, people being lazy and everything. And this is something I love to use as an example because, for example, if you say you're going to be something or whatever, for example, let's say you're going to be somebody who studies the scriptures and you say this, I have faith alone, I'm going to study the scriptures. I have faith alone, I'm going to study the scriptures. And you just don't study it. You just keep saying, I have faith alone. I'm going to study the scripture, and I always like to use this workout, or let's just use this workout, boxing. I'm going to be a boxer. I have faith I'm going to be a boxer. I have faith I'm going to be a boxer. Then you never box. You never step in the ring. You never learn a skill. You never put time or effort or your spirit into it. 
And then you just say, I'm going to be a boxer. I'm going to be, and you, you're living in separation. You're in a delusion because you're not following through with your spirit or your body and what you said you were going to do. So whenever people, uh, you know, say they're one thing or say they're another, then they don't study, they don't do, they don't perform. God performed his word. God not only is his word, he performed his word and he's God of heaven and earth. And uh, he showed it unto us and people don't believe it. For example, I just want to bring up one more thing. So when it says God created all things by Jesus Christ, I'm saying, you know, according to the scripture, Jesus Christ is our great God. People ignore the uh, 50 other scriptures where the Lord himself created the heaven and the earth. God himself created the heaven and the earth. He's God alone. He's the Lord alone. And if you look at it, all these beautiful scriptures that say it, they ignore all that. And forgot about it somehow. So, with that being said, you know, um, yeah, your your fruits and your results speak for themselves. That's why you have people. People can always say a lot of things, but then when it comes to them doing it, uh, what you do shows. Like you have, like you you say, people are lazy nowadays. That's the spirit of sluggardness and everything. And it says, "How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? A little slumber of the sleep." A little hold, folding of hands to sleep in the book of Proverbs. And then that leads to the way of death. So, uh, because spirit is life. Spirit is death. Spirit is life because of righteousness. But sluggardness, that's death. So with that being said, you know, you guys, uh, all you guys keep doing your thing and everything. And uh, I just, I just, I have to laugh at some of these people online sometimes because uh, how they approach things, it's, I can't help but not to laugh because it, it's funny to me somehow. Um, but um, maybe that's just part of I need to grow up a little bit. But all right, guys, uh, I'll be in the chat room. But yeah, I think this is a good conversation to have. So. Oh yeah. Been paying attention to what 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 they're trying to do that uh, over there in Africa right now. What's because that? Of stand, because of their stand on that on, on that uh, community. Wait, well, what are they trying to do? They're talking about sanctioning them because of the oh yeah, over there. I'm familiar with that. But we got to be careful what we say on this channel because we don't want to get in trouble. That's why I said the community. I didn't say nothing else. The alphabet community. <laughs> Oh, I just, said, I just said the community. Well, that's the devil out of hell. All that agenda. I actually got one of my videos. I I made a video on that, Mister Ham, Tony, yeah. and Chris last year, and actually, it, it got it's removed got from worse, YouTube. Though, uh, Craig, but what's it's, that? Just watching. It soon got worse. I, I was watching it today, right? Like, uh, yeah, they're they're really like they passed the bill. They passed the bill for that over there. Uh, Zimbabwe, Ghana, Kenya, and all of them, they passed that. So now they're talking about withholding uh, 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 assistance and stuff like that from them unless they remove that law. I was watching what uh, Kamala Harris had to say about it and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, they get mad at the president over there, but he was like, it's not a discussion for us. That's for you guys in the West. Yeah. So I just, well, just want to see, I, me, myself, I'm just sitting back watching to see what God does with that situation. Hey, hey, Mr. Ham, know, why you why you're bringing that up? Those communities are actually starting to break down in the United States. A lot of people are starting to distance themselves from those activists that are yeah. pushing the note. I mean, they boycotted Target. And Target yeah, I is I see, I pulling see back. Today. I, I noticed that there's so many things that there there is be there is some pushback here in the United States a little bit from what I've been hearing and seeing from here and there. Uh, people are just are just tired of the the, the slam and cram it down your throat, and the yeah. people inside that community are starting to see the hypocrisy, and they're they're coming out of those communities. Can, and can I just say? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chris. I didn't mean. Uh, uh, I was just gonna say. By the way, guys, I think a lot of people there's a disconnect, right? So we see on the news, 
and the media, we see all this stuff being reported and everything. In reality, people might think all of America thinks like that. I can guarantee it's less than 5% of America that actually thinks like that. But since the news has all the, uh, and the elites have all the money, power and everything, they're uh, just putting it out there like everybody's thinking like that. When we know everybody doesn't think like that too. And uh, it's that because uh, it's like creates a perception that like, oh, everybody's like this. And then, uh, you know, we're here obeying God and we're not. And then it makes it seem like America is like, just for example, you never know the actual names of the elites that run the whole planet, right? But they're, they're the ones funding all this agenda and dividing everybody. So that's all I'm going to say. And so. Well, well my, my thing is this. The grooming and all of that stuff right there, I have an issue with. And yeah. uh, the, 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 you know, the Dairy Queen Hour and stuff like that. Yeah, I have a problem <laughs> with them. Uh, <laughs> I uh, didn't even hear that. <laughs> You know, uh, I have an I have an issue with that. I don't hate the people. No, it's not that. I hate I hate the I hate the lifestyle that they're involved in. You know, uh, and then you got then you got people like 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 with, with this 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 a uh, so called pastor uh, the well up here having issues with Tony when he should be addressing stuff like that because these people have have decided that they're going to come after the kids. Yeah, this is what they decided to do. And here, you know, like I'm looking at these books like. I remember uh, when uh, uh, Pastor Jennings was, had that had that uh, that uh, uh, so-called Bible that was supposed to have been bulletproof that that he took apart, you know, and, and his stance has been strong on that uh, uh, for a long time. I mean, just think about it. you can go back and look at that 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 video of him when he, he when he debated a uh, a uh, 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 perverted uh, Harry, you know. Oh yeah, these yeah. Are, these, are, these are things. That, uh, you you got you got to uh, you you have to look at this stuff that these people are doing, and and and, and I, I can't ignore that. I mean, I got grandkids, so I, I pay attention to everything they read, what they learning in school. You're not gonna stick that in there with mine. Oh yeah, so, and when you guys, uh, if any of this stuff ever gets planted in any of the kids' heads or any anybody's head, it's like a seed. What what happens? And then it starts to get watered. It starts to get grown, and it throws their whole life off. So uh, with that being said, uh, I won't take up much of your guys' time. Uh, I'll be in the chat room. It was good talking with all you guys. Yeah, jumping on. But yeah, it's like like. Like with you though, uh, uh, Tony, what he's talking about, man, is nothing, man. Uh, that, that guy right there, he listen, he need to be trying to figure out about retirement and all that other stuff. Because <laughs> obviously he's not a pastor. Not never cool. has been, never will be. No, no. no not at all. And I it's mean, still, I, no, 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 I'm listening to you. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, doing, I'm doing the delivery at the same time I'm talking to you. You know, I, you know, I stay on the road all the time. Oh, man. So, <laughs> I, so I hear you, though. Know. All right. So, with this guy, uh, Charles Dewell, we, we're going to end in like 12 minutes. We're going to have a month. So, with this guy, uh, Charles Dewell, or whatever the case may be, um, which talks about, uh, you know, some type of fighting or whatever, you know, things like that. This is the first time I've heard of something like this coming from uh, a so-called preacher and things like that. Now, how would it look, you understand, for for a pastor who's almost 60 years of age, you understand, to be in a boxing ring, to be, you got to think about it, to be in a boxing ring or or a fighting setting, you know what I'm saying, with with somebody who's really in tune with it, like locked in, you understand if you that? Before you, if you never fought before, you wouldn't understand it, but I do. So it, I, I, it, I understand they not a chance. You know, people uh, get this thing like they're an incredible hawk because they know how to, you know, throw their hands up a little bit. But it's it's, it's different levels to this. <laughs> it's levels. It's different levels. I mean, he's been in the army and all that other nonsense, but it's it's more it's higher levels of training than. The army and stuff like that. You know, he probably been in the army for the team and stuff like that. He's about to be sixty, but it's, it's it's different. So if he wanted to get in the ring and stuff like that, 
hey, whatever stipulations he wants, I'm with it. But I wouldn't get in the ring to have the mindset to hurt and kill him. I wouldn't do that. You understand? If, it, it would be like me if I'm training somebody and we just sparring and stuff like that. I don't go in the ring to hurt who I'm training. I don't go in the ring to hurt who I'm, you know, practicing with or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It's just a sense of teaching them a lesson of discipline and humbling yourself. You know what I mean? He thinks because he's twice, he's probably twice my size, but he don't understand that fighters and stuff like that. And they don't call us crazy or nothing like that, but we getting hit is like nothing. You understand? Now a toothache hurts more than a punch or, or, or biting your tongue. That hurts. But to get hit is is, is something uh different from what other people think about getting hit and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We can absorb the hits and things like that. It causes adrenaline. So he got to understand the mental part of fighting first. But if he say he want to, you know, dance or whatever the case may be, I have no problem. But in the sense of not wanting to hurt him, because I know he's a, he's a senior citizen and stuff like that. And I just couldn't do that. <laughs> I, 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 I just couldn't do that. So is Mike I could, Tyson, though. I could, I, I well, you talking about with Mike Tyson for uh, Roy Jones? No, nah, I'm saying, though, he's a senior citizen. That ain't consideration. Mike, you make them choices. You grown enough to make them choices. Yeah, yeah. But Tyson, Tyson still, he's still trained. You know how old I am, right? If I make uh, that choice, if I make. <laughs> no, man. That, that, all that goes out the window when you make when when when, when you make choices like that. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. But I I would hope you know when it's all said and done that if it happens if he really serious about it that you know people could really humble themselves in general because it, it's kind of, it, it reminds me of just you know if you're going out playing basketball or, or football but you don't do it to really harm that person and stuff like that. If you got to take it out in basketball, you got to take it out in football or whatever. And things. Keep talking. I'm just saying, hold on one second. And things like that. Then, hey, by all means, sometimes you got to do that. You got to go in the backyard, shoot some hoops, you know, to, to cool things down. Sometimes it could be like that. A lot of people don't want to sit down and have a conversation about the scriptures and things like that. You know what I mean? But being that he's a pastor and whatnot, I'm so it's, it, it just mind blowing that he acts like that worse than a child. You understand? So what Christopher was explaining was it was excellent. How a, a, a so-called preacher behind a pulpit, you got you got a congregation of people. You know what I'm saying? You're responsible for a lot of people upon what you put in the spirit from the scriptures and whatnot. And if you if you preaching and teaching damnation unto the people, their blood is gonna be on your hands. I'm not a preacher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have that problem. Being in the pulpit is That's dangerous. Talk, yeah, it's, it's it's dangerous to be in the pulpit. It's dangerous to be a leader like that, and you acting that way. You understand? But if you want to dance in the ring, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. I won't do nothing to hurt the man because I know he's a old, he's an old fella. You understand? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that. Fighting, you said fighting is fighting. Fight, though, Tony, you know that. Uh. <laughs> I never thought about that when I was fighting whether I was going to hurt somebody or not. Yeah. Yeah. You I make mean, that choice. You make that choice. And I used to watch like these old videos of these guys that 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 that, that box back in the day. And then now they all messed up now, but no, you made that choice. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing wrong with feeling sorry for them, but you can't change the fact that they made the choice. You remember the mm. old saying, eight to 80? Uh, I remember that. <laughs> oh, See? What, what, what does that mean? <clears throat> Nobody, nobody, mean? nobody, no, nobody's, uh, nobody gets the excuse for that. When you was a little kid and you fought, it didn't change. You get older and somebody puts you in that position, you're going to defend yourself. Hmm. Eight to 80. You'd be 80 years old. 
you still in shape, you ain't gonna be like, hell, yeah, no. Nah. Mm. I'm just uh, saying, I'm being factual. I'm not, look, I'm not promoting violence. I'm simply saying <clears throat> that if it came to that, I'm not going to let nobody put their hands on me like that. I'm going to be honest. Mm. Well, here, here it is. You have, you know, a, a guy who's almost 60 who's, who's, who's using profanity. I mean, dropping S-bombs, F-bombs, B-bombs, all this other nonsense, you know, and talking about another man's mother, dead father family members and it's getting real disrespectful now uh back in the day growing up in the hood you don't disrespect women or kids you know what i'm saying it's certain principles and morals and values that you got to follow as a man at the end of the day you don't talk about nobody's mother who's about you know i think she's 90 or something like that you don't talk about somebody's dead father you don't do that as a as a so-called pastor some people will really take you out of this world you know what i'm saying they don't care if you're a pastor or not. You got people who's riding for, you know, uh, PJ or anybody in general that's probably from his area. You understand? That is certain things you just can't say at your mouth. I'm, I'm in full defense of, uh, of First Church in every aspect. That's like, like I tell you, when I hear Mary and all the mother ones talking about First <laughs> Church and stuff like that, that stuff irritates me. But I... But I respect what, what what Pastor says not to uh not to engage them in stuff like that. Yeah, I'm well, the reason, my opinion about it. Well, here's the thing: the re the reason that he he is instructing people not to retaliate because we're not supposed to retaliate because the book teaches us that we're supposed to do good to those that despitefully use us and persecute us and and do us wrong. I mean, but if we're supposed to be of the faith, if or if we're of the same household of God or household of faith, then, you know, you should want to seek to try to reach people, you know, that you know are lost, that you know are in false doctrine and try to, you know, and try to see what you can do to win them as opposed to trying to burn them off because we're going to be accountable for, you know, what we do. Everybody's going to be accountable. That's true. That is true. So, I mean, I, I, I get it. I get it. I really do. But, like I said, some of these people out here, man, they push you to your very end sometimes. <laughs> I'm serious. But you know what? I done came a long way. I've came a long way. Mm. Well, uh, dude, man, just drive. You know, Tony, you know how it is driving on the highway. You get somebody, and they'll jump out in front of you and look like you, uh, and look at you like you the one that uh, that, uh, that 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 did it. Not to mention, you doing 65, 70 mile uh, power, uh, 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 per hour, and they jump out in front of you like you can stop, like you're going twenty miles per hour. <clears throat> yeah, man. I run into a lot of that. Know how it is, out especially there. on them days when you be tired and riding, man. <laughs> so, so, tired and like riding. I said, I done got way better. Mm. Address well, that, man. I mean, everybody, everybody's not all the way there in certain departments of life. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. it could be it could be a, a lifetime process sometimes to get over certain things. You know, you know, you know, the hardest thing for me to do, but for first thing for me, it was easier for me quitting smoking and drinking than it was for me to stop cussing. You mm. know that when I stopped cussing, when I stopped cussing, that was one of the hardest things to do because I was around people that did it all the time. Mm. So even even like now, I've still run across people that still do it, and it doesn't affect me the way that it did when I first stopped trying to do it. Because now I look at people that that, that do it, it's like like it just sounds ignorant to me. Yeah. What up, C Rock? Peace, peace. How you doing? Good, good. You? Peace, to everybody in the chat. Uh, peace to simple, simply. Was it simply faith? Peace to you. Uh, yeah, so I'm 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 looking I'm looking around and uh, it's not looking good for these people out there. The Hebrews were like uh, uh, embarrassing them, themselves. Uh, when I heard the man talk about uh, Mother Jennings, uh, not only 
Apostle's wife, but Apostle's mother, uh, and then the disrespect of Apostle's father. It's like the demons are totally manifesting themselves uh, in these people. And, and uh, you know, just recently they just got into a fight, IUCPK with um, IUIC. I just watched that video. So at this point, it's clear that they want the debate so that they can just have a brawl. These guys don't have, know how to use scripture to, to, to debate. So they want to get physical at this point. No good mm. intentions. Wow. That's a crazy situation. But that was an actual physical fight between those two uh groups. Oh yeah. Um and and you won't believe what started the fight. These men were fighting over a chair. A fold out chair. They were fighting over a fold out chair. The purple gang annihilated. Hey, what, what law was it? Who won? Who won? What law was it? I issue PK, obviously, because they was probably about 25, 30 deep, and it was only three brothers from the IU, uh, ICPK, or whatever they are. Is that so, yeah, yeah, the purple gang? The purple gang definitely ambushed ISUPK. Are they? Are they? Uh, was it on video? Yeah, they uh, they called the police. They held the ISUPK down. They called the police and helped the police arrest the ISUPK. Let me let me close it out real quick. Wow. Wow, man. I gotta check that video out later on. Then. Yeah, I got two too. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. they get savage now. Mm. Wow, man. All right, man. So you know, I appreciate everybody for coming on here. You know, giving their comments and whatnot. Those in the chat room, shout out to you. Now, people wondering, ask me, am I going to accept the challenge or fight this guy, whatever the case may be? Like I said earlier, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get in the ring and. Uh, have the mindset of putting this man in general. It'd be like, you know, be playing basketball or football and stuff like that. Because that's not my mindset. That's not my mindset uh, to hurt people uh, to the point where as though you can nearly kill them. You know what I mean? He might kill himself just stepping in the ring. kill himself stepping in the ring. That's hilarious. <laughs> But uh, y'all got any closing uh, last remarks in general? Uh, <laughs> uh, it, so I, I, I still think that it baffles me that we're talking about this Charles Dow's guy, but <laughs> other people show up thinking that we're talking about them. <laughs> I, I didn't I'm that. Well, by that. I well, that early. I, 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 you know, this this guy, like I said, if y'all go back, I mean, I know nobody really cares about cares much for G Man, but if you see how much Dow dodged him and his wife, you you'll see what, what type of person you actually dealing with. Like I told you, all this stuff that he's doing now, he wasn't doing that stuff four years ago. No. no. He was too busy doing matter of fact, he was so into that Hebrew Israelite stuff that all of a sudden now he now now he changed up. I mean, I don't agree with it. Or anything like that, but he's changed to fit their agenda. Mm. He wasn't doing that at first. Mm. But then here's the thing though. Most of those the mm. dude that you be having on here, what's his name? Start with the T, whatever the name is, the foolish yeah, name. I, <laughs> I, I really wish I knew his first name. Um he said it on there one day, I think. <laughs> what is it, a Thomas, a Terry? <laughs> I, I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> so he got he, so he got rid of his government name. <laughs> All right, no, I, I ain't gonna do that though. But yeah, so this is what they do, man. They get this. All of them, if you notice, all of them get this little thing to where they want to have a certain type of Hebrew Israelite like they're going to be. And that's what yeah. their camp does. Mm. Like some of them yeah. sit up and get drunk and, and smoke weed and do this and that. Or they cuss and swear, but swear mm. and, 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 and turn around and talk about that, that, that they men of God. Yeah, man. Yep. Yep. 
like, I mean, he, he used to come on this channel years ago, uh, cordial. Uh, listen, I don't know what happened at the end of the day, you know, be a lot, a lot I of had the spirit in him. That's what happened. <laughs> well, I'm trying to find that video that C Ross. So, listen, let me get my, let me get my last words and get out of here. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, Apostle's able to see things that some of us are not able to see. Apparently, Apostle saw that that debate was not a good selection because the brothers and sisters are not going to allow anyone to harm Apostle. So to, for us to get in a room and even risk something like that and having a melee, like you see the Hebrew Israelites having, is not wise. It's not wise. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty yeah. much it for me. Uh, and one more thing. Jin Juice, you are banned from my channel. Don't ever come back. That's it. That's all I got to say, brothers and sisters. God first. Yeah, Apostle, said, Apostle said the hit dogs are hollering. So, yeah, they definitely probably shouldn't show up. All right. I appreciate y'all for coming on here, man. Yo. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. God bless. I'll, see, uh, I'll holler at y'all later. All right, man. God bless. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Mr. Hand. Christopher Wright, you got any last uh closing remarks? No, I'm good actually, man. Uh like I said, I was just kind of <laughs> interesting how how you know we're we're having a civil conversation <clears throat> and you know, we're just addressing some things that other people should be addressing as well. Should people should have some type of concern with how people conduct themselves and it it matters. I mean, it yeah. it matters what cuz everything we do is going to affect somebody else or impact somebody else. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, it it's sad that we have to keep going in circles with certain people. It's like a, a never-ending cycle of of the same old stuff that I mean, we're we're still rehashing stuff from that was supposed to have been squashed over a year ago, you know, and it's like, it just never goes away. It's like, man, <laughs> but some people need to grow up and move on or else they're, it's, it's just too, eventually that poison is going to kill somebody. Mm. And it's just a matter of time, you know, wow. but, that's all I have to say. I mean, I, I, I think we had a pretty good discussion. I hope we can have more like this. I mean, I, I think that was pretty cool. We had a kind of an open panel, um, you know, more people jumping on and, and getting a, you know, you get to see a non uh, combative or non debate frame of mind. <laughs> you get to, get to kind of just have conversations and hear different perspective of people. It, it, it's definitely, uh, I like that. I definitely like that. Absolutely, man. So, you know, we look forward to more, more topics and things like this in general. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for coming on and uh, having this uh, conversation, for sure. Yes, sir. You have a good night. You too, sir. All right. So we had a conversation about, you know, um, this guy, Charles uh, Duell, Duell, whatever his name is. Um, I believe he's the, out of uh, Gainesville, Tennessee or somewhere in Tennessee or whatever the case may be. He, he was under the impression that um, I made some type of boxing challenge and stuff like that. I don't recall making a video of a boxing challenge. You know what I'm saying? I probably said something like, you know, why, why don't he step up to the plate or something like that? Or he stated that if somebody called him a, an adulterer, that he would give them the business. So. Tony Harvin called him a Delta for having uh, three or four wives and stuff like that. You know, um, when you talk about physical fighting and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? With, well, he's not a Christian, so at the end of the day. So um, I wouldn't label him as a Christian. You know what I mean, I wouldn't label him as a pastor. The reason I put pastor on a thumbnail or in general, you know what I'm saying? Because if I put so-called pastor in, uh, in the titles, or whatever the case may be, sometimes they don't pick up things don't pick up in like the, the algorithm and stuff like that. So people could get some type of encouragement. The videos won't pop up, but it's though people get some type of encouragement, you know what I mean, to to the things that we are saying on here, you know. But I doubt I doubt he's serious about, you know what I'm saying, a boxing match or whatever, uh
basketball game or football game or whatever. You understand? I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, two people playing basketball, <laughs> football, you know, getting in the ring, you know, touching, touching up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Not to kill one another. You know what I'm saying? Um, we know that I can hurt him. We we know that. It doesn't matter if he's twice my size and stuff like that. It, it don't matter. We know I could hurt him. We know I could, you know, really put him in the hospital and stuff like that. But that's not that's not the mindset, you know, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to do things uh, in order for a person to uh, get humble and disciplined. Sometimes you ain't even got to throw no punches at people. They throw punches at you and get so frustrated, get so frustrated and winded. You know what I mean? They become disciplined right there. I've seen it. Trust me. You never got to hit a person because when they have the mentality of like the incredible hawk and things like that, and then they run into a brick wall, it's something different. It wakes them up uh, and they become humble, you know, because as, as one of the panelists stated that he has, he's doing this, uh, Hebrew Israelite ish type of things. Now we're not really here talking about him. My whole thing was should Christians or so called people who strive for God result into physical altercations? That's what I wanted to title this video as, you know. But also this uh, that that topic was inspired by you know uh, you know somebody mentioned that to me and a couple of people in the chat room uh, also. And whatnot. So that's why I get my information from. Not that I, I watched his whole video and stuff like that, and things that I need. So when I make videos, uh, I try to have like an encouraging, empowerment type of thing in it, so people can be inspired uh, from the videos and whatnot. For those who drop in jewels, uh, and myself also. So uh, we're gonna end this live, man. We're going. So it's not in the sense of uh, bashing another man. It's a difference when these trolls make videos for hours and bash people all day talk about your family talk about their mothers calling them all type of bees and stuff like that and dropping s-bombs and all all throughout the video without giving uh an encouraging word that's the difference when i say these these fellas uh waste their time making negative videos my video is different when i'm talking about somebody it's to uh, empower the people with an encouraging message there's a difference you understand all right, before I close out, we're going to go to the comment section right quick. Uh, let me see. Uh, he says, the ultimate debate league is over there talking about they want to debate past them. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. What up, what up, what up, Nicholas? Long time, Nicholas. Shout out to New York. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, Ed Jose. I don't know. You know what I mean? I was I was in there earlier today, you know. It's a good workout. Great workout in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh I'll probably be back tomorrow there. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get some sparring there. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, if you want to show up then, I'll be there. You know, but my mindset wasn't on another man uh showing up at all. When I'm in the gym, I'm locked in. You know what I mean? I'm locked in. I'm not worrying about another man. You know what I'm saying? If he did show up when I wasn't there. Uh, whatever you know, what I'm saying. I mean, the coach is there, he got my contacts, you know. All right, MHW says, Uh, thanks, Tony Christopher. Appreciate the uh, formal discussions. Pray, uh, pray the viewers are learning a bit more about themselves in the process. Absolutely, you know, it's good to have it's good to have conversations in general, you know, what I'm saying, and you know, hear uh, different people's perspective, as you know, Christopher Wright uh, mentioned. All right. Um, <laughs> he said, God bless everyone. Looking forward to his body bagging. <laughs> you funny, man. Keep up the good work. Shout out to Jeremy Dunbar. Shout out. All right. MHW, appreciate that. Um, <laughs> you funny. Oh, man. <laughs> He said it's suicide for him. Mm. Deep one. He says, I would I would not like to see you make that dude punch drunk. Well, like I said, I wouldn't harm him, you know what I'm saying? Because I know he's up in age, man. He's almost 60. You know? 
And like I said, it's, it's, it's levels, you know, to fighting. What you see, what you see on YouTube, what you see me on YouTube, my mindset, a fighter's mindset is not how it is right now. It's something different. You know, when you locked in, you know what I mean? You block everything out and it's just <laughs> one mission to complete. You understand? He he don't understand uh, the meaning of being locked in and different levels and stuff like that. You know, when you got a person who think because they can put hands up with a little bit of muscle, okay. It's, some, it's something more than that. It's something way more than that. Way more. You know what I mean? <clears throat> he says, how many miles, um, how many miles do boxers normally run? Well, <clears throat> well, um, I think when I was watching, um, what is that called? 24-7? Uh, no, it's not 24-7. What is that when they um, prepare for a fight? I forgot. But this one was with top rank, so I don't know what they call it, uh, between Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Um, Haney, he ran five miles. You understand? Haney ran five miles. Uh, I think Tank, Javante Tank runs about five or six miles um, for a fight. But um yeah about five or six miles you know what i'm saying five or six it, it depends some people don't like running they do other i think deontay wilder he don't like running you know so he do other things in place you know what i'm saying but running is going to get your agility running is going to uh get you you know get a lot of things uh up for you as far as like conditioning wise you know um a lot a lot of people can't take running a lot of people can't Appreciate that at G Swole. Appreciate that. You know, um, let me see. So I started training four months ago and my mile was uh 1240. Now it's 802. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know, 1240. How about you up up your running by putting on two or three layers of clothing? Mm. Now that's really pushing yourself. When you put on two or three layers of clothing on. And it's about 100 degrees out there. That's why I say it's levels to this. <laughs> it's levels. You understand? You're going to feel the difference in your body that, wow. Yo, your lungs, your lungs, you're going to get oxygen in your body. And it's going to feel like so good when you when you run for a long time, of course. And if you put on like a couple layers of clothing on. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be real different. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be it's going to be tough. <laughs> it's going to be tough in the beginning. But you, he said he said baby steps. <laughs> he said baby steps. He said, yeah, bro, Tony, you have to ignore the foolishness. There's challenges. You're right. You probably will fall out as soon as his feet touch the ring. Uh, he better be careful. Um, better be glad you're a sensible man. And a lot of people I saw some people in the comment section before I blocked them and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? They talk about you know certain things but you gotta understand i'm a youtuber so when there's a topic out there and you're a youtuber you're going to talk about them that's what youtubers do you know what i mean we talk about um anything that's appealing but you gotta but with me i like to put it in the sense of encouragement and empowerment to the people you understand so i'm a youtuber so i'm going to talk about uh, a lot of things, a lot, you know what I'm saying? People get it misconstrued that, um, you know, they, they put me on this pedestal like I'm a preacher. That's why I always say in the beginning, I'm not that. So I'm going to talk about things in the news. We're going to talk about things in life, uh, you know, and stuff like that. This ain't going to be no sermon. You know what I'm saying? All right. The world is always mining earthly things. <laughs> and that's crazy. You know, for him to be a so-called um, elder or what do you call himself? A pastor, preacher, bishop, whatever. You know? See, I'm going to talk about those things. You know what I'm saying? That's me. So that's why I said earlier about the pulpit. It's very dangerous to be in that pulpit. And I'm glad I'm not in the pulpit. Honestly, if I was in the pulpit, I couldn't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> or I would have somebody else operate. I couldn't look at social media. If if i was in a pulpit you understand i couldn't be in a pulpit. i couldn't uh look at social media at all you understand so uh gino said i ain't got no social media i don't got time for it <laughs> you know and I, and I see why i see why man you know so 
I definitely see why. All right. <clears throat> he said it was hard in the cold. The first time I punched uh, for five minutes, I thought I was going to pass out. And, you know, people, I guess they thought I was going to say derogatory things, say I was going to beat them up, say, watch when we get in the ring, I'm going to hurt them. No, nah, I'm not going to say that. See, I'm a professional. <laughs> you understand? Listen, we're gonna be nice. We're gonna be nice to him. We're not gonna hit him hard. We just gonna, you know, touch him. You know, check hook. <laughs> you understand? Slip. You know what I mean? Go go with jab with the right. Depends how he's boxing. Most likely he's gonna box southpaw because he don't know how to fight. Most people who are right handers who never been in the ring, they put their right hand in the front. You understand? So I'm not gonna give out too many jewels <laughs> out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on how to uh, really study a person. Because that's, that's what you learn also. To study the body, the mechanism of the person when you're fighting certain movements. You know, you look at certain movements on them. Whether it's their cheekbones moving when they throw a punch. I ain't going to give out too many jewels no more. That's it. No more. <laughs> no more. That's it. You know, no more. You says, um, you're a professional. <laughs> I like this one. Jerry Dunbar. Hmm. He says, if you're behind a pulpit, we in the comment section would be in the pews with Jen. <laughs> you funny. He says, uh, dwell on YouTube begging for Gino debate. He wants that air time so bad. Well, that debate won't happen, man. Honestly, it it, it won't. You know, um, like I said, my other videos, he had it, but, you know, he, he's not going to get it. So um, I, I I know he ain't going to get it, you know what I mean, with the type of uh, disrespectful talk he has, you know. So we YouTubers out here, we will talk about it. We could talk about it every day at the end of the day, you understand? Of course, giving encouragement and uh, empowerment type of message uh, behind it, you know. All right, we're going to conclude. I thank everybody for tuning in uh, to what we talked about. Hope everybody have a wonderful night. And do remember, tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, is a debate. It's a debate, you know what I'm saying, uh, between Brother Hayes and Rasheed Jones. They're going to be talking about the Holy Ghost. 9 p.m. tomorrow, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Lock in your calendars. You know I'm off. I'm off the next day, Sunday, so we might be on there all night. You understand? So I hope everybody have a wonderful night. Tonight, much love, much respect. We don't promote violence or nothing like that. You understand? We promote the, uh, bring somebody to get humble and disciplined for sure. I'm Tony Harvin. He says, is simple face moderating? Uh, no. No. You understand? No. You know what I mean? Um, so um, that would that would be nice, but <laughs> I, I talked to Simple Faith about that. All right. So hope everybody have a wonderful night. I'm Tony Harmon signing off. May you all have a blessed and wonderful night. I'm out. Peace. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harmon, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do remember, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right here and select all to receive all notifications upon the videos that come out on this channel also my backup channel is tony harvin network if you like to do the same